All right, now let's move on to something else here. Um, again, Amazon this week or Amazon last week had an event where they unveiled a number of new um, Amazon products. So Amazon showed off a couple of new products, a few new products, Am the Echo Show 15, Astrobot Plus, the Glow, Blink, View, Ring. It's a few more things. So let's just dive into that and see um, some of the products that they unleashed. Um, first one here, you see in the picture here, this is the Amazon Astro Robot. I am going to dive into that a little bit more. I'll get back into that little robot a little bit later. Let's go down here. Um, another one that they did was the Ring Always Home Cam. So this is a device where it is a little drone that will pop out of its little base and it will fly around your house and, you know, do patrols. So just very quickly, it can be set to, to go on a predefined path throughout your house. So you can do that manually, or it can also be triggered by some type of alarm, or if it detects something, it would then come out of its base and then fly through your home. So that was the um, Ring Always Home Cam. Okay, let's keep going. Um, another one, uh, Ring Protect Pro, is just um, Amazon is combining home security with a secure and stable internet connection. So this is going to work with the ring cameras in your home and combined with your Eero uh, Wi-Fi 6. Um, this has, well, it includes a stable internet connection and it works around power outages. So in case of a power outage, the Ring Protect Pro is still going to work for you. Um, the Ring's drone is set to fly through your home. Again, I did talk about that. Um, Halo View, this is a fitness and nutrition uh, smartwatch. Um, Amazon has added a new product to its line called the Halo line, which already includes the fitness tracking band and its app. Um, the device shows fitness stats and classes on the screen. It has seven days of battery life. Um, it's a swim-proof device, so basically waterproof. It comes in a variety of colors and options. Um, it's $80 with a full year of membership included. So again, for, your, for all your fitness needs, that is going to be the Halo View. Halo, um, sorry. Amazon Go, uh, this is a video device uh, for kids. So this, it has an eight inch screen on there and it projects the image onto um, a tabletop surface. So the kids can then interact with that. Um, so let's just go through this real quickly. Um, Amazon idea for how to change video calls for kids is to make them more interactive. A new device called Amazon Glow projects computer images onto a table where kids can interact. There's an eight inch LCD display so the kids can see their loved ones as well. So again, trying to make um, video calling more interactive for the kids, okay? Um, Disney Alexa, Disney characters are now on Alexa. On a new partnership with Disney, you can use Alexa device to interact with Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars character called Hey Disney. The features gives you jokes, trivia, story readings, as well as surprises. Um, then another device is the Amazon Echo Show 15. So this is a 15 inch wall mounted display. You can, it can be wall mounted. And this is the, the biggest display that Amazon has released in a, in a show series so far to date. Um, the Amazon is adding a personalization feature using its AZ2 Neural Edge processor. Um, the juice up chip can process much faster, which lets it runs which, which lets it run the personalization features on the device. As a result, features that use data about you won't send the information to Amazon's cloud. Right, okay. <laughs> now we we already know that Amazon Echo records everything that you do. There have been reports that came out about how whole conversations have been recorded and then sent to other party members unexpectedly. So again, Amazon saying that they won't be recording, take that with a grain of salt. I, I I don't have much faith that that is true. But I mean, the device itself, I mean, it. I, I think of it as like a smart hub. You know, it can, you know, all your household members, you can play music, you know, sticky notes, um, personalization features, dietary, 
um, restrictions, all that stuff here, which is pretty good. I mean, but again, you have a little camera on there so they can see into your house and see what's going on. Um, and some other things. So, but let me get to the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about with this Amazon Astro robot. Again, robots supposed to be looking cool, supposed to look cute and friendly and non, you know, invasive. But Amazon Astro robot could be a dangerous smart home device, says Lee. So this is a leak that came from Amazon internal documents. Let's dive into that. So, so again, they unveiled that at their event. Information published by Vice's motherboard, which the claim has been a it was been sourced from leaked internal development documents and video recordings of meetings about Astro, indicates that the new robot assistant may have more than a few flaws. Of course, Amazon is denying the claim. The report, uh, one developer is quoted as saying, Astro is terrible and will almost certainly throw itself down a flight of stairs if presented with the opportunity. Um, they went on to say that the robot's person detection is unreliable, which would impact its usefulness as a home security device, and its parts seem to be too fragile for their intended purposes. So Amazon releases this $1,000 robot, and you have a developer saying that this thing is flawed and can throw itself down the stairs, has a problem with detecting people. Well, what is the, the point of this device? Again, but if you notice all of the devices that Amazon released along with this robot, the theme here is that Amazon is trying to invade your home. Every product is, is more invasive, invading your privacy, and is trying to give Amazon more access to your house. We already know Amazon wants to be able to have a uh, have a key to your door so it can actually leave packages inside your home so they gotta be careful with what they're trying to do they're trying to just basically just get into your house so again this robot here gives them another footprint inside your house because again this robot is going to be able to map out your whole house and know exactly where everything is obviously in order to get around your house but and don't think that Amazon is not going to have access to this data. I, I I would not believe that Amazon is not going to have access to it. So again, I already said that we already know that they have this information and it's been sent to other parties. Um, the fragility would be a particular issue for the for the mass camera that allows Astro, which costs nine hundred or thousand dollars, to scan its surrounding. From high up, but yes, this thing does have a, a mask or a periscope that actually comes from it, so it can again peer throughout your house and get a, a a better view of what's going on here. So again, yes. So here, here's this picture here. You can see here that this thing has this periscope that comes out right now. I don't know about you, but I I'm not too fond of a robot in my house with a peris periscope. And it has basically spying on everything that I'm doing in my house. Not particularly fond of that. So, yeah, this robot will not be coming into my house at, n at no particular time. I, am, I definitely will not be allowing this robot in my house. So, yeah. No, thank you, Amazon. That is not something that um, I am looking forward to. Um, so... So this is the company's first home robot. It's going to retail for fourteen fifty, but the introductory price is going to be a thousand dollars. Signups are available right now. Uh, expecting to begin shipping later this year. Um, again, it's, it's a little bit more detail. Uses the onboarding processor and SLAM algorithms to intelligently map and navigate around your home. Astro can also be used to make video calls thanks to its large front-facing screen. So. So that is pretty much everything that Amazon announced at its event. Again, the theme that you're seeing is more invasion of your home, more invasion of your privacy. Again, we need to uh, pay attention, wake up, and understand what's going on with this. And don't be so 
forgiving and allowing of these devices to just invade our lives. Thank you.